Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm sharing some of my all-time favorite pantry projects. I love pantries. They enable you to keep your kitchen clean and simplify your life because it's easy to find what you need. The first project that we're gonna tackle is taking a closet and converting it into a pantry. So this is my sister's house and she wanted narrow shelves. She didn't want deep shelves where things would get lost. So what we did was um, just screw one by threes to the wall. Once I found out where the screws were on the bottom row, then I could just start the screws at the same exact location and then just move the boards up knowing that there is a stud in behind because all the screws are in alignment. Then I just topped all of the one by threes on the walls with one by twelves. And since she wanted a horseshoe shape, we went around the corner with more one by twelves and then joined it with a screw in the corner. This was absolutely perfect for her. We ended up adding some front legs just to give some support to those shelves and keep them from warping. If you don't have a dedicated pantry room in your house, don't worry, there's still options. One of my favorites is a barn door pantry. It's basically just a giant bookshelf that you build. You put a face frame on the front and then you install off the shelf barn door hardware. We've got the free plans for this one that'll take all the guesswork out of it. And this is a really, really large pantry. It should serve all of your family's needs if you're not bulk shopping. I love barn door pantries because you can display all your beautiful pantry items. So your fruits, maybe some of your dishes, um, things that are more attractive, your bulk bins. And then on the other side that the barn door covers, you can hide all of your not as attractive items. I love barn door pantries. If you have this space in your kitchen, this is a great option for you. Next up, we have garage pantry shelving. So what happens if you shop in bulk and you store a lot of things in your garage? My friend Jen, who is also our video editor, decided to take our freestanding garage shelving plan and convert it into an amazing pantry that fits around utilities and a small freezer. This is also extremely sturdy shelving, so she was able to put bottled water on it, she was able to customize it to put laundry baskets in it, and even a slide out bench for boots and shoes and sitting on to remove your boots and shoes. We love how simple this project is, how inexpensive it is, and it's super sturdy, and it's going to last. And look at all the food that it can hold. All right, so this is the pantry for my own house. Now, I didn't want a second kitchen to clean. I wanted a very simple solution that's just going to do its job. So a no frills, no fuss pantry system with very sturdy shelves. So I decided on almost a very traditional shelving system where it's two by four framed. And we just built the brackets in the garage first. And then we hung the shelf support brackets on the wall using a level. And then from there, it was super easy just to put one by sixes on top and add some legs. Now this is a super, super easy way to add some shelving that looks fine and is going to hold up, but it's beginner friendly and it's very affordable and it's easy to customize your space. We ended up painting it white in the end. I just felt like it looked nice and crisp and clean. And honestly, the painting was the hardest part of it all. So here's another option if you don't have a dedicated pantry. Just build a bookshelf and convert it into a pantry by customizing the storage accessories in it. So this is my friend Jen again. And remember, she built the big bulk pantry in her garage. So all she really needed here was, you know, almost more like a snack cabinet where she's keeping just the smaller items that are handy and accessible. And then the, you know, the big bulk stuff is in the garage. So she used shelf help and you can either order the pieces or you can cut them yourself and use the free shelf help configurator to help you get the dimensions just right. And then she built a bunch of accessories with it as well. So make sure you check out that video and that post 
if you're interested in any of these cool accessories that she made. Okay, so wire shelves are actually a really, really good option for pantries because they're inexpensive, but the problem is they look horrible and um, stuff doesn't slide on a wire shelf real easy, right? It gets caught. So here's an option. Use the wire shelf tracks in the support brackets, but top it with one by boards. It'll look beautiful, it'll be easier to use, and it's super easy to install and pretty inexpensive. If you want a built-in pantry, then look no further than our built-in pantry project plan. So this pantry actually turns a corner and is built into a closet, and we're gonna build it out of three quarter inch thick hardwood plywood, the same material that you would build kitchen cabinets out of. So this is a really high-end pantry. Uh, I would love to do something like this if your pantry was right in your kitchen where it might be highly visible and you want it to essentially look like cabinetry. The other interesting part about this particular build is it went around a corner. So there is actually a video um, and a project plan and everything to go with this pantry. So um, I linked that in the description so you can click on over there and watch that video if you're more interested in how I did this pantry. It really turned out awesome. It's very beautiful. You almost don't even need doors on this uh, pantry closet that's in the kitchen because it turned out so well. The other thing I really love about it is I custom trimmed it in place. So um, it makes it easy to clean. There's not going to be stuff stuck under the bottom shelf and you know there's no gap between the end of the pantry and the wall so it's just really easy to clean. Um, it, it really is just built-in cabinetry so if you're looking for a higher end solution this might be the ticket for you. Okay, so our final pantry is a rollout pantry. So really easy project. You can start using that spare space next to the fridge if you have it right away. You can use, you know, a one by six, one by eight, one by 10, one by 12, really customize it in size. We created a brand new tutorial for that and that tutorial is linked in the description. I didn't wanna keep you guys for an hour showing you all the crazy pantry ideas I've had over the years. So I made a post that you can click on the link in the description to see lots more pantry ideas, lots more pantry project plans. Of course, it's all free. So head on over there, pick out your favorite and get it built because life's too short not to be organized. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.